Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're going to be playing some Nando, and that's a sentence you haven't really heard me say all that often. That's because we're doing damage Nando today, not focusing on tanking whatsoever. Luckily, we are playing Onslaught Magistrate Archives, which is a pretty good map for what we're doing today. Obviously, we're basing a loadout and a legendary card around his fireball. I have tried this. It actually worked surprisingly well. Looks like we're going to have a Andro, a Vivian, a Zin, and a Talisman. Before I forget, I've actually got some code to give away for this video and for a couple future videos that I'll mention it in because I'm not just doing the standard old thing where I pop the codes up throughout the video randomly where you can go ahead and claim them and whoever gets them first are the ones that actually get it. I'm going to do it through Gleam this time. There'll be a link probably in the description and I'll probably comment below this video also with a link to it. Um, you go ahead and enter, you just hit it, you can follow me on different social medias and stuff and you get entries depending on how many of those you do. If you've done anything through Gleam before, you'll already know exactly how it works. It's a much more even way and a much more fair way for me to to do these giveaway stuff. So if you follow me on YouTube and Twitch and all that stuff, you already have entries. And if you're subbed to me on YouTube, that's already three entries. And considering you're watching this video, that means you probably already are. I've got five, I think, Huntsman ones to give away. I've got three for the Battle Pass, and I've also got two for the Valentine's Day chest. So those are the things you can actually win. Two of these, and yeah, three Battle Passes if you don't have them already, and five of those Andro skins. And in the future, I'll continue doing it this way. You guys recommended that I do Gleam instead of just popping them out randomly throughout the video. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully you guys prefer it this way. If you don't, feel free to, again, just let me know if there's a better way I should be doing this stuff. But I feel like this makes the most sense and gives more people a chance to actually enter. So the giveaway will be going for about a week, and it should finish next Tuesday. By the time you watch this video, it'll be Wednesday. But yeah, it's pretty much a week. Anyway, let's actually get into the game. Sadly, somebody didn't connect on the last one. Let's go ahead and pick Nando. Onslaught Foreman's Rise works as well for this loader that we're going for today. So we're obviously picking the legendary card that buffs our fireball damage by 30%. And also, if it hits multiple people, the damage increases by an extra 30%. Uh, we've got another Andro, a Shaolin, a Zin, and a Genos. This might actually be the same team. I'm not sure. I don't remember the, re the, the usernames or anything. We're also obviously going to be maxing out the cooldown reduction on our fireball. So it's by default removed 50% of the cooldown on it because of the card that we've got which is 10% per level, and we've maxed that out. Uh, the card that reduces cooldown for eliminations, I actually found to not be too useful, so that's only at level 3. We've also got a bit of CC reduction, just as a throwaway card, because the other one doesn't really make sense to add to buff the fireball. We also get extra movement speed, and it reduces healing whenever we hit somebody with it too, so. It goes from 6 seconds to 3, and then if we get a kill, it gets reduced even further, and we're probably going to buy Kronos as well to make that even lower. And the anti-heal actually applies for 3 seconds, so having it up every 3 seconds means we can pretty much permanently be applying that anti-heal, which is useful because they have a Damber on their team. We're going up against a Lian, a Knessa, a Lex, and an EV. so two flankers, two damage, and a healer. Meanwhile, I'm obviously playing Fernando. We're not going to be playing him as a tank, though. Uh, a Genos, a Zin, a Charlene, and an Andro. Okay, two flanks, a damage, a healer, and a tank on our side. So, for Legendary Card Scorch, I've already mentioned that. These three can work as well, not particularly Dragon Firelands. I really dislike this Legendary Card. Maybe they should tweak it. I personally think they should. These two I've seen a lot of people pick if you're going to go for a tanky Nando. We're doing Scorch. This is a standard loadout. I go for Nando. Not that one, sorry, wrong one. That is the standard one I tend to pick for Nando. But today, we're going for damage Nando. We're just going to Fireball, Eliminations, Reduce Cooldowns, Throwaway Card, and these two, which I've already explained. The Genos is being a little salty in the chat. He's saying that the Lex on their side made him lose two matches. I have no idea what's going on, but let's pick up some Kronos. Let's go do the thing. I feel kind of small on this mount in comparison to the person on the Mecha Prowler right there. I feel tiny. Uh, hello, Leanne. What's popping? So we deal a pretty chunky amount of damage like you just saw. This, this, what's she called? This Kinesa. Yeah, that's the right character I was thinking of. Are we going to kill her with fire? We are. The Kinesa definitely wasn't expecting aggressive Nando right there because she took 800 to the face because she was the second in line to the fireball. Or maybe the Leanne did. I'm not sure. But we got first blood, I think. Either that or we got the first kill for our team, one of those two. Uh, what's up, enemy team? What's problem? We really can just spam our fireball because it's got like three seconds on it. Hello, Damba. This is probably the wrong way to play Nando. I'm not the best with Nando. He's like my least played character, but this way I can actually kind of somewhat do Nando justice and not just sit around tanking damage badly because I suck at tanks. I can actually play in the way that suits me better, which is just trying my best to deal damage. I thought I had my shield up and I didn't. Let's finish him off fireball. Luckily, if we actually have tick damage on somebody with our basic attack, it does reveal them to us, so that makes this a little bit easier to use. 
damage. As you can see, 600 every 3 seconds is a lot of damage for a tank. You add that onto tick damage with your basic attacks and also having, uh, just in general, a pretty heavy amount of health and damage output. You're pretty damn strong with this loadout, way more than I actually originally thought you would be. Like right now, we are dealing pretty good damage, we are destroying them, we're doubling their points right now. And if you play Nando a lot or if you like playing damage tanks, I would very highly recommend this loadout because it works surprisingly well. Let's just get rid of this Eevee as well, why the hell not? She's so low! I could use my ult but I'm not going to. Oh hello Eevee. Fireball! There we go, we took her out with us! I died to an ult but we managed to throw a fireball at the last second there to just finish her off because obviously she's got such a little amount of health that 600 is like a third of her health which is pretty damn good. I'm going to wait and get more Kronos in a second. I'm she's just going to wait here because you get 5 credits a tick in Onslaught, right? Here we go, Kronos, thank you. So it's reduced even more by 20% right now. It's not that noticeable on the fireball but on our shield and our F it is a little bit more noticeable. Our F is useful just to actually help close distances and stuff. I'll try and play the point still, even though it looks like we've got this game in the bag. I'll try and still play the point. The only way that this could honestly be better would be if you could actually use your fireball inside your ult. I really have wanted that to be a thing for a little while now, but that'd probably make Nando too strong. This Liang can't even fight us right now. Get wrecked, my boy Dan, but we're doing a pretty good job so far. I need to get out of combat and heal up any second. I just took a hit from behind from Liang. Hello, Knessa. You're gonna die. We're gonna get her. There we go. Okay, that's two kills. How many kills have we got so far this life? Two? How many have we got in total? I don't even know. Let's get rid of this EV. The characters with lower health are definitely the easiest ones to pick out with this, obviously. But with this, you can also actually out-damage tanks a lot of the time. I've gone against Makoa a couple times and been able to completely whoop him just because we have a significant amount more damage than he will. As you can see, the Knessa really doesn't last all that long. I tried to avoid doing the reload thing, but I fucked up. Either way, she's dead. She's playing very badly, if I do so say myself. There we go. That's 800 damage. I don't want to die to this Lex. We're going to use our dash. We're going to see if we can pick him off here. I missed the fireball. This Eevee's probably going to kill me any second. There's the fireball again. I'm still alive on 200 health right now. I don't know how, but we somehow lived through that. That Jounce is on me. Still out of combat because I didn't get hit when I was dashing there. Let's get rid of this Nessa. Hello. There's a ton more damage for you. We are doing pretty good. Onslaught's Foreman's Rise is probably one of the better maps for this, so do keep that in mind. You may not have such a good time on other maps, but this map's really close together, so we can just mess people up by permanently being in their face and in range. This is probably the right way to do the Nando thing, because I see people do that. Although I honestly don't have much practice with it, so I'm not 100% sure if that's the way you're meant to do it. I've just seen other people tap it that way, and it seems to work. So let's pull our shield up. Fireball. There we go. We did a good amount of damage there, and that movement speed buff, I think, stacks. So we did get like 40% or something there. I'm still alive. The Genos has been on me all game with heals so far, so I've got to give him props. Let's pull our shield up here and see if we can absorb some stuff. Lex. You're not Lex. You're, you're freaking Charlene. Do your thing. We've still got a shield that absorbs a ton of damage. Keep that in mind. You're still pretty damn tanky with this. Haven't used my ult yet. Maybe I should use it now. Here we go. We'll use it against the Damba. Completely unnecessary, but we did it anyway. Why the hell not? Let's get rid of him. Can we kill him? There we go. Can we dash in and get this Eevee? Nope. Instead, we're going to die. I feel like I've done pretty well. I think the best way to play with this is to just be as aggressive as you possibly can, because people like Knessa and Eevee and pretty much anybody who's not used to this loadout will not really know what to do. Like this Knessa, for example. Whenever we are rushing her, she doesn't really have a response to what we're doing. Once she uses her F, she can't get away from us, and we just output way too much damage for her to be able to deal with it. As you can see, we are shredding people right now. Let's get rid of this Lex. There we go. He's gone. Let's dash through here, pull our freaking shield up. She's somehow not killing me here. Can we get rid of this Leanne from a distance? That was worth a try. I did hit her with it, but it's not going to kill her. I did give it an attempt there. This Lex is dead because I'm just going to chase him. There we go. It also applies anti-heal, so that's something. Knessa, what are you trying to do? There's no way you're going to win this fight. I'm Nando. I'm damage Nando. I have 4,600 health, and I can burst you down quicker than you can even blink. God damn. We're shredding people right now. We are 390 to 180 points. We are absolutely demolishing them. I don't even know where they are. Are they even spawning anymore? Have they died so much that they don't have any respawns left? Let's get rid of this freaking Damba. So that's game. That was a victory. I'm probably going to do another one, because that was incredibly short, but I think I did a pretty good job of demonstrating a good scenario for damage in Nando. We had a full damage team, and they didn't have a tank, so we were just consistently killing their entire team, and then they were trickling back in, and then we were killing them one by one. Did pretty well. Charlin was just shredding them right there. I don't know why the Genos at the start was complaining about their Lexi. Didn't seem particularly good. None of their team really seemed particularly good. They did obviously have a lot of characters with small amounts of health, but we did do 
a pretty good job of damage. Just leveled up my battle pass. Hell yeah, we had 47k and also shielded for 20k. That's another thing I would just want to double down on and point out. You don't really lose any of the tankiness. You just buff your damage a ton. You're still Nando. You still have a shield that can absorb a ton of damage and you still have a pretty large health pool and an ult that can just save you and your team from dying. Except you now have a fireball that deals at a minimum 585 damage if they don't have haven or blast shields. I'm not sure how that fireball works. And then if you hit multiple people, like I did a couple times in that game, it can stack up ridiculous. You can deal like a thousand. If the third person in line gets hit by it, it's a thousand damage, something around there. So if we take a look at the scoreboard, I actually had top damage that game other than a Leanne. And that's saying something. Leanne has two auto-aiming abilities. Leanne is very easy to get top damage. Which I'd say she's actually probably the easiest character to get top damage. We went 13 to 4 with 47k. So we had second top damage in that game by a pretty big margin, like 10k over everybody other than the Zin. Seemed to work pretty well. I really do like this loadout. Nando, as you may know, is one of my least played characters. Terminus was one of my least played characters until we got the loadout that I really, really like with him. The Forsaken and Power Slave combo that I've shown in a video already as alongside the Seething Rage. He was my least played character and my, my most disliked character for a long period of time. And Nando was then the most disliked as soon as I learned how to play Terminus and actually had some fun with him and got a loadout that worked. But now Nando's actually up there with some of the characters that I find some of the most fun to play because nobody expects damage Nando. A lot of the time I see Nando, he sometimes has some stuff that buff his fireball, sometimes they pick this legendary card, but I don't see anybody go balls to the wall with it, where they have incinerate max level and they just have these two cards as well. 30% movement speed for hitting an enemy with our fireball is ridiculous. If you hit two, I think that goes to 60. I don't know if this is affected by diminishing returns or not, but I actually like playing Nando now, a, mo a lot more than I did before. All right, let's get our second game going. TDM Trade District. So this will show us both sides of deathmatch, which is good, because I don't know how well we'll do on this. Hopefully, they line up well enough and we can get those thousand damage fireballs that I was talking about. The thing I would say is that this will probably do quite bad in Siege, because people will be expecting you to do tank Nando, and especially in, in situations like competitive, where you're trying to play seriously, this probably isn't the best idea, because people will know how to counter it, and in Siege, when the games are pretty long, people will deal with Nando like this, but in the short bursts, like Onslaught and Team Deathmatch, you can just completely overrun people, because they don't have time to really adjust, and there's not really any Anything that counters this. I guess shields kind of counter it if they've got a lot of frontliners because it stops your fireball and I guess damage reduction kind of does, but nothing really completely denies it like some of the other silly loadouts we've done. Shoutouts to Christio211. This is the second time I'm in a game with you, first time on the same team. Shout out to Christio211. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. We've got a Russian Strix and a Russian Grover, I assume. We've got Violent Crab Cassie. I love that name. And Christio is going ahead and playing some Sky. We've got a pretty decent team here, honestly. League. Hopefully Grover can steal me with the heals. We're going up against another Cassie, another Sky, a Vivian, a Sholent, and a Tyra. Their team seems pretty scary for, for TDM, but we, we should be okay. Sadly, Vivian will counter us a tiny bit. Let's get Scorch. Let's get the same damage Nando loadout going. Let's inspect our weapon one last time for good luck and get some Kronos. I guess Nimble would work quite well. I don't really feel like Kronos makes a huge difference in this loadout because the cooldown is so low at three seconds. So maybe you want to get Nimble if you're playing on a bigger map like, like TDM Trade District. That's probably a bad idea to not go with this, but I guess it helps helps us use our F more, F more often. There's our Q, fireball. Hey, we hit somebody. First fireball of the game. Nice. Can we get two hits? Nope. Can we get another hit there? Can we get the shawl in? I see what he's trying to do. I just want to hit him one more time with that fireball. There we go. Nope. Freaking Sky got first blood. Nice. I don't know where they're coming from right now. I have no clue. I'm guessing they're flanking over here. I hear a Cassie shot, so we're going to go and check it out. Cassie, are you here? Haha. -ha. Surprise Nando. Wasn't expected. It took me ages to get around to where I was trying to go. There we go. Got the Tyra out. Let's get rid of this Vivian. Any second now, I'm gonna pop into here to get the invis away from that Cassie. Gonna dash, no, that doesn't send me off the map. Yet we're good. Luckily, I judge the distance of that properly. There's 700 and the 60% movement speed buff because of the cards we've got set up. Did I get that kill there? No, Strix got it. Okay, there's another Q. There's 200 damage for some reason. Oh, she's got a card that reduces her damage whenever she's um using her, her shield. I haven't seen many people use that, but that's my first time going against it. So when she actually has her shield up, she'll take a lot less damage because of the loadout she's got going on. Can we kill her here? Can we actually get this? Hold on. I need to pull my shield up. Wow. We're on a seven streak right now. I'm surprisingly actually dealing with everything relatively well. Nothing's really counting this so far, and I still feel pretty confident with it which is good. Let's make sure that Cassie doesn't come around here and start whooping us. She's got vision on us because she's using her ult. We seem to just be getting people low and then other people are picking it up. Let's get kill to heal because I feel like that's more useful than life rip for this for sure because our Q I don't think will trigger life rip. I'm pretty sure that's just our basic attacks. I don't care if you're going to plant, dude. I'm just going to keep firing at him. They're all over here. There's a Q. Are they going to hit anybody? No. Did I hit that Charlin? I can't tell. Grover just ulted for some reason. Do we go all in here? I don't know what to do. We hit that Charlin again. My god, he's taking fireballs to days. Oh my god, today's for days. We just completely negated that. 
Cassie's attempt at knocking us off the map. Get fucked. I'm not going to be taken off that easy. Let's get rid of this Vivian. Or maybe not. She's still got a shield that Where's she at? Let's get rid of her. I'm just going to hold fire as we walk around this corner. Fireball to the face and she's gone. Stash away. Somehow still alive right now. Let's use another Q. There's 500 on there. Strix. They have a Strix. No, it's probably a Charlotte. I don't know who that was, but we hit 500 on somebody. Let's chuck another Q through there. We get somebody. Two people. Nice. There's the Tyra ult. Completely denied. Let's get rid of this Charlin. Fireball to the side. He is gone. There we go. Kill to heal, I think, was a good choice, and so was Kronos. I'm surprisingly doing well in TDM right now with this loadout, and I wasn't expecting that. If I'm being honest, I was kind of expecting us to do really badly, but we're actually doing pretty good, especially when we get these double hits with these fireballs. There's another kill and another double hit. Freaking spicy shit right there. Can we get this, this Vivian out? Should we get this Sky? I see what you're trying to do, but not today. I'm going to ult and just stay here and deal damage. There we go. We got rid of it. That's what I was trying to do. Shield. There we go. Just going to slowly waddle away. Dash. There's a Q. Oh my god. We hit him on the way out as well. We're still alive. There's another Q for, for a Tyra, not for the Charlin who I was trying to kill. I'm revealed, but that's fine. This freaking Cassie's going to be dead any second. I was going to call their Sky there. There's a fireball for you. This works way too well. I'm actually going to point that out right now. I don't want this to be nerfed, but I feel like this works surprisingly well. We're winning pretty heavily right now. Obviously, this can be countered once you know how to deal with it, but it's just so easy to get like free 600 damage pokes on people because the fireball isn't all that easy to dodge. It moves pretty quickly. So once we get the stuff rolling and we're doing consistent damage, it's pretty hard for us to not be absolutely just overrunning people. Like right now, we are just shredding all of them. We just got a double kill. There's a cheeky spray. Why the hell not? I think the card that reduces healing is really important in this, but also the card that increases our movement speed whenever we peg somebody makes a big difference. Because once we land that first shot, closing the distance and finishing them off with our little lance really does help. So being able to get a movement speed buff after our Q is surprisingly useful. I don't feel like dying just yet. Can we kill her with tick damage? Maybe. Is she still alive? She's still alive. Let's go Go ahead and get Kronos too, and also get some more kills heal. Why the hell not? This has for sure solidified my new love for Nando. I am very much liking playing like this. It's a lot of fun, and honestly, I haven't played with a loadout that has been this much fun to use in a little while. So this is a refreshing change. Let's get rid of these guys. Maybe not. They're all so low. Oh my god, that Shaolin got hit by the second bit of the fireball. Took like 800 damage, but didn't die. He had like a tick of health. He's gone now. There's a fireball down there. We did just hit the Cassie. Can we get rid of this Vivian? Can we hit her feet with it? We can. Did I hit a fear or a shield? I'm not sure. Let's just go all in and be aggressive. Hello, enemy team. What's popping? There's my shield. Let's finish him off. There's an ult. I don't feel like dying just yet. Can we get this Cassie or this Charlin out? Maybe. Let's use a Q. There we go. 500 damage. He's gone. Cassie finished him off. Let's get rid of the Vivian, maybe. There's my shield. It's got a pretty big amount of health, so it does take a little while for them to get through it. Hello, Sky. Decided to try and flank us there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm a dash up this way. I'm on, like, no health right now. There's a Q. I tried, but Charlin was too fast. I couldn't deal any damage. Last kill of the game with 39 to 28. A Another successful victory. Damage Nando is a thing. I think you guys have actually been recommending this to me for a little while, but I never really thought of actually giving it a go because of the amount that I dislike the Nando. But now I actually feel like I can play with this on TDM or like Onslaught and do fine. Maybe not Siege, I'm not sure, but it definitely works on just overrunning and dealing as much damage as possible to people. It works pretty damn well. That Cassie just got a double with that Q. She really was just picking off the low health characters for most of that game. There we go. I don't really know what else I can say. Damage Nando is a thing that I recommend you try. It is a lot of fun. I think the way I've got the loadout set up is nearly ideal. I don't actually think I'm going to tweak anything of it. Maybe getting rid of the eliminations reduce cooldowns by a little bit, but I do think that does help us steamroll a little bit so I might leave that at 30% we got 40k damage again 42k shielding so we shielded for a lot more that game but we did a little bit less damage we went on a nine kill streak so let's go ahead and check see what we've got 40k damage in comparison to everybody else that is again second top damage there Cassie topped us um, by like 1000 but other than that we doubled a few people there we nearly doubled a few people there. we had 10k over everybody again other than their Cassie. Pretty much the same thing that happened in the last game. Surprisingly so. Again, 42k shielding is probably worth some amount of damage. I'm sure if we didn't shield for 42k, we would have got the, like, 700 difference in between me and the Cassie there. So I'll classify that as another win on the damage side of things. I really like this. This is by far my favorite way to play Nando. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me do next. And as always, stay frosty.